Okay, y'all, so I'm back in the kitchen, and I want to show y'all how I'm making, we, we gonna make fish and grits. Y'all keep telling us to get back in the kitchen, so we gonna, I said I'm gonna record, and I'm gonna record the fish and grits. So here it go, okay? I ain't got no HD quality in my kitchen, y'all, so bear with me. I already done started the grits now, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got right here, as far as the grits is concerned. Um, so don't come for me and my dog on grits. Cause <laughs> I ain't no professional grit cooker. I put uh, I don't know how many cups of water in here. I can't tell you, y'all. I just eyeballed it, so I put some water in here. Then I dump some grits in it. Probably like um, I don't know. Probably about three cups of water, maybe to a cup of grits. Look here, I have to cross that bridge when I get to it. Like I said, I ain't no professional grit cooker. I have to, I do know how to cook grits, but I have to eyeball it because it gets, it get hard for me sometimes with the grits kind of trying to judge it, even if you read the pack and all of that. But um, I know like a good rule of thumb is whatever amount of water you put in there, you put one third of that in grits, I think, girl. Listen, I don't know. Just look at what I'm doing, okay? I already did it, so you can't look anyway, but that go to grits. And in a few minutes, my husband will come in here. He gonna cook the fish. Um, and I think I got some shrimp in the fridge there, y'all. I think I think I do. But um, y'all y'all know when I usually do my cooking videos, I do uh, voiceovers. Oh no, I don't. I try. I don't know what I'm talking about. But here go the fish fry right here, like I showed y'all in the previous video. And uh, we gonna get that sway going in a few minutes. And when y'all cook grits like this, you got to cook them. I boil them for a few minutes on high, and then I turn them down low, lower, not all the way low, and then I put the top on them. Now, if y'all from the country, like I'm from the country, and you can't find your top for your, your grit pot, you put a plate on it, just like that. Bam, okay? Y'all already know what time it is. Let's keep it real 100 right with y'all, okay? So I got these grits cooking. And, and you got to keep keep an eye on your grits every little, you know, few minutes or whatever. Make sure your grits ain't too thick. If they're too thick, add some more water. I'd rather for my grits to be too thick than to be too thin here. Yeah. You hear me when I'm talking to y'all? Okay. I'd rather for my grits to be too thick than to be too thin because if they're too thick, you can always add a little bit more water. But if they're too thin, then you got to add some more grits. And you don't want to have to add no more grits because you're going to have a gritty taste to your grits because the first part of the grits already done start cooking. And you don't want to put no more grits that in there on top of the grits that's already cooked because it's going to take that much longer to cook. At least that's for me, y'all. I told y'all I ain't no pro at this grit cooking thing. So we're going to get it situated one day. But that's how I do it. I ain't going to... That's probably as good as it's going to get. So my love going to be in here in a little bit. And he going to fry this fish. And show y'all how he fry his fish. You ready, babe? Yeah, okay, he going to be ready in a minute. So we'll be back. I'm going to have to check the fridge there and see if I got me some shrimp up in here. Okay? Okay, y'all. So I'm back in the kitchen. And I'm going to check on my grits. I've been letting them cook on low. And just simmering. Like, kind of just chilling out on low. And the reason I cooked the grits first. Because, you know, the grits can be ready. You know, you don't cook the fish first because then, you know, you got to wait on the grits. But these don't like those little five-minute cook quick grits, but they take more than five minutes. That's a lot. Listen to the bag. If you ever cooking five-minute grits, give them, be, give them at least 20 minutes. You feel me? So, I got them cooking on low, and I'm going to show y'all what it look like now. Down up here in the pot. And like I said, I would rather add water than add grits. So, they looking like this right now. Real good and thick up in there. Can y'all see that? They looking real good and thick. They actually look good. Okay. So I just want to let them continue to sit there and be on low until he start the grits. I'll just come to show y'all what they look like. And I will be back. And I'll be back to show you guys um, what the grits First of all, look people, like. With the, what I'm they? starting the fish, not the grits. Oh, you starting the fish. Whatever. <laughs> Talking about first of all people, really. <laughs> my husband finna come start. The, my husband finna come start the the fish. Yeah, okay, y'all. What well, I can't even get it at, y'all. So my husband finna come start the fish. I ain't got no light in here, so y'all gonna have to bear with me if y'all want me in the kitchen. Baby, you gotta turn that light on. Okay, I'm supposed to be black as you. I forgot to tell y'all the season that I had put in the grits. It ain't nothing but some salt, okay? Just put some salt in the grits and that's it. So I got my husband here who's going to cook the fish. And was that a chirp? I have a little bit. And uh, 
I got Nivea on the phone. We on FaceTime, but I can't see her face. I don't know what she's doing, child. So, um, my husband's gonna cook the fish, show you how to cook the fish. Okay, baby, go. Baby, go. On your mark, sit, go. Okay, y'all. Well, so. I done started already as in cutting it. I have washed my hands, and, you know. You wash your hands. Yes, I have. <laughs> but see, the fish be about this long. Hold on. What? Hold on. I cut some in. Okay, y'all. So, um, trying to get Nivea FaceTime. And here's my husband cooking the fish. So, first he is pouring. I don't know what you just did, baby. You pulled the... I pulled it in the, where I put my stuff at. Where, because they're long, I cut them in half so they're going to be more. And then, I put the, uh, the seasoning in there. And now I could have put a spoonful of, of the old bay. Which, you really don't need all that. Because you put too much in there, it's going to be salty. So you put a spoonful of obey to how much seasoning? The whole pack? Like a pack of those... You can put a pack in the there. The bag? Like I'd the bag size? I'd rather, I, I, I eyeball man, but still, you can put the whole... If you buy the pack, you can put the, just the whole pack in there. The pack that's in the bag? Yeah. Okay, because I bought the pack that's in the box. Yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't do You use half box. of that? It, okay. it depends on how much fish you cook it. Okay. So one spoon of Old Bay to one pack of fish. If you had to pack in the plastic yes, bag. It doesn't really need Old Bay. But if you want that Old Bay taste, you can just put it in there if you want to. Because that season is already seasoned all the way. You can't put no Lowry's on it. You can't season <laughs> the fish. You can't do all that because it's going to be salty. Okay. Automatic. I didn't try it before. Yeah, I remember that. And it was real salty. So don't put too much. I don't oh, not at all. My craft now. So oh well, he's a he's a he's a perfectionist now. He got it. <laughs> Anyways, the next thing we do, the grease ain't even on. Okay. The grease, you you using the way over there. Oh, okay. I gotta move my grits out the way. And uh, the I don't really want. Red on there. You gotta do is whatever you gonna do it in the uh, plastic bag, paper bag, bowl. I normally use this one with the top. So I have to put it in and just shake it up. Keep on shaking it until I get all of it together. And it'll be ready. What are you doing? I'm laughing and on your side. Well, you could have did if you, <laughs> you could cook fish. I could cook fish, thank you. You just told me how. Bam, and everybody else. Now there you have it. But the key to the fish is a, we'll let y'all know that in a minute. What's the key? This. Oh. It ain't gonna taste the same now, other one. You just keep on shaking it and shake it. Well, like this. Hold on. Golden brown. Yeah, you get till it get golden brown. That's how you want to keep shaking until it get look like that, okay? Then we gotta let the grease get hot because the grease wasn't on, y'all. Yeah, I don't know how to look. We gotta get a better camera than this. Well, a better angle. I hit, gotta get my other tripod. We'll just hit them back in a few minutes. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. What I'm gonna do? Yeah. Check this out. Okay, yeah, check it out. I got me, got beat my egg up. So. Baby, you all up under the camera. He beat I, his egg up. Put me by just a little bit of bed in there. In the egg. Roll it around in there a little bit. I pour it on there. Why you put old bay in there and then you got old bay on the batter already? This is shrunk by itself because they ain't gonna even go in that batter. Oh, they not? Oh, no, I they thought you were gonna put they're them gonna in the batter. They're gonna be in their own little batter in this okay. bag. This is the zip I got. So in order for the um the the fish fry to stick to the shrimp, you gotta put some eggs on the uh, shrimp and put that separate. You don't have to do that to the fish because it just stick. Put me a little batter in the bag. Mm-hmm. Toss that up a little bit. Right here. Slap my fish in here. Like so. Get the excess off. Slap it in there. Like so. Like so, baby? Yeah, like so. Oh, my God. You... And all the sway he cut in half, if y'all didn't catch that. I thought I had told him that. I don't know. He was getting on my nerves, so I had to repeat it. And the key to the fish. 
cast iron is gonna get real it, hot, so I had to cut it down a little bit. Is the cast iron skillet is a key to some good fried fish. And y'all, this is the only thing I allow my husband to cook. Ain't that right, baby? That's yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, we got the shrimp in the. Oh, we putting the shrimp in the batter now. Yeah. Shrimp in the batter. Shrimp in the batter. And before we did this, all y'all, hands was washed. And, oh, washing again. And he washing hands again. Because I do not play by not washing your hands around my food. Y'all already know I done been through a lot. Gotta have clean hands. That's automatic anyway. Automatic. Ooh, look at that fish. Look at the fish. As you see the fish sprinkle, this little old grease with the new grease in there. Yeah, that's how we cook the fish as old grease. Got a little old grease and I put a little new with it. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know y'all mama kept that fish grease when y'all was little. Ain't nothing changed. Toss a little shrimp up. Put the bow. Are they ready? Really? You had to slam it down like that? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, you get on my nerves. <laughs> and what you doing now, babe? Here, they go the fish. Get my, get my little fish on the room. I can flip fish in a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna let the fish cook on one side for about what, two minutes? Three minutes? Yeah, about three minutes, then flip it. I be flip, I like to flip mine. Did, a, did another key is don't leave the fish by itself. Stay yeah. here with the fish. Don't go in there playing with your phone, trying to look at the gold mile 100 on the phone. Just go in here and watch the fish. Or have your phone in here by the fish. How about that? Because if you do that, you're going to burn your fish up. I'm sorry, T. Hey, what you trying to say? What? What you trying to say? Stay in here with your fish. Don't leave it. Ooh. He talk about me, y'all, on the slide. He throwing shade. He trying to be funny with a little pity self. Because I be cooking and I sometimes I walk away. And next thing you know. I mean, that's um, the key. Fish be cook, hard, doing. Cook the fish. You got to stand here and daydream at your food like this. Until it's done. Because if you walk out and you go watch my Gold Mile 100 channel, like he said, with his crazy self, I'm pretty sure y'all ain't walking out from y'all food to go watch a video of me. <laughs> but just in case you do, don't walk away while you frying your fish, okay? You get on my last nerve. And now, so it's been like, what, two minutes, three minutes? I don't know. It's been about three minutes. And flipping the fish. This is sway fish. I don't know if I even said that. This is sway. If y'all see my um previous video of my uh, Walmart haul, um I had a, bought a big bag of sway fish and I had already had some shrimp uh in the refrigerator, so that's what we have in there. Oh, I need to check on my grits too, y'all. Check on my grits over here, baby. Well, let me um. Now, I, my grits probably need some more water. Sometimes when you let grits sit too long, they need some more water. I tell you, I got my ghetto top here. What that, give me that um spoon for the for the shrimp for the grits and then mix. The, oh, they ain't that bad. Just stir them up. Oh, they're actually doing pretty good with thickness here. Okay, just stir them up because sometimes grits seem to get a little uh a little hard. Not a little hard. I don't know a little stiff or whatever. So you want to make sure they're not stiff and put your top back on and let them continue to do what they do. Back to the fish. So you let them cook on this side for about another three, four minutes. Yeah. I like to flip mine a couple times. I should have had this on. Um, we'll be back. Okay, go. And right here, he, he poking them a little bit to make sure it cook on the inside because why? But my wire needs always done. So this wire. Well, I, I, I can do it, but I do that so you would know they done. Okay, he do I that already for me. know they done or not. He do that for me because I'm picky with food that's not done in the middle or uh, at all. Okay, time to flip the fish over. Mm -hmm. It's like the second flip. This is this is fourth flip. The I'm, fourth I'm, flip. I'm about to get out of here. Okay. Oh, it's breaking apart, so that means it's about done. So you flip it over for like four times. 
So it, it really cooked two times on each side, right, man? Yeah. Okay. That makes sure it cook all the way because it, it kind of fat. There ain't no thin pieces, you know. Yeah. And I like all my food well done. Okay, he took the shrimp out, and that's what the shrimp looked like. What a what a plate is it? Hold a plate over here so they can see the shrimp. Well, that's what the shrimp look like when they get out. Look good and golden. That's all of them. I didn't have enough room to put all of them in there. Oh, okay. Three. Yeah, cause I'm like, where's mine at? Okay, I don't know what's wrong with our light, y'all. It's kind of flashing, but this is what the fish look like when you take it out. Golden brown. And always when you take the fish, I put it on a napkin, a paper towel, so it can drain the excess grease off. Okay, y'all, that's the last batch of fish. That's the last batch, right? So I got the grits right here. Spoon me some up in the plate. These right here, probably, these probably gonna be scoobies on. I'm almost out of grits. It ain't, I ain't cooking but for three of us. Uh, that's all we're eating this time. that. Y'all see those grits? They just as white as the bowl. Okay. Then put this, I don't know if I want to put the fish. Should I put the fish in the grits? Nah. Yeah, you want to do them. Well, I put this piece of fish on the side right here, y'all. Put that piece of fish on the side like that right there. And get some shrimp. Put these shrimp on the side. I didn't put a lot of shrimp up here. Okay, put this shrimp on the side, and that's that's the fish and grits, y'all. And what you put on top of your shrimp, on top of your grits, what a dog on um parsley. I, I had that out, I know. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So here is the finished product. I got the fish in there, the shrimp, and the grits. I put a little bit of butter, some parsley, and a little bit of sprinkle of cayenne pepper on there with some black pepper because I wanted a little kick with the black pepper and pepper, whatever. So make yours how y'all want it, y'all. This is what mine gonna look like, and Scoobies and my husband got cheese on it, but they done, they're so hungry or greedy, they done left with their plate. You, 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 where your plate, baby? You gone. Okay. Okay, y'all, well, that's it for this video. Y'all, thanks so much for watching, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye. Fresh one. Fresh one, baby, Sorry, say bye. Man, man. Bye. <laughs>